Namaste. Oh my God, it's been a beautiful day here in Virginia. I'm, um, I'm just in a place of uh, such gratitude right now for, um, for you and for this opportunity and privilege to be able to speak to you. Today I want to talk to you about an age-old age topic called sin. And I know that you have been told that you are a sinner. And I know that you have been told you will always be a sinner. I'm here to correct this falsity and bring an awareness to you today that will bring grace for you to transcend the self that is a sinner. So, this sin, this idea of sin, begins with a God that is separate from you. <laughs> I need you to hear this. Please listen. Have ears to hear. To be a sinner, to displease God, there has to be a God that is separate from you. There is no God that is separate from you. You have been gloriously joined to God. You've always been gloriously one with God. Even on a very energetic level, all of these forms, these bodies, these avatars that we fill and all things going on around in this room and in the room that you're present in and in nature, all things carry an energetic frequency. And while your eyes perceive space between you and the objects in the room. We know scientifically that there's actually energy between the space and that our eyes are just reflections. They're bringing back reflections. So everything that you see around you is first within you. In other words, there is truly a oneness, not only scientifically, but spiritually, that we're all having the opportunity to taste or to experience in some way. I want to bring an awareness, help raise that awareness to this oneness today that you and God are not separate, but that you and God are one. I am not talking here of what you believe you are, of the ego. I'm not speaking here of the self-conscious you that believes in yourself, I am this, I am male, I am female, I am black, I am white, I am American, I am Mexi Mexican, I am British, I am... I'm not talking about that you. I'm not talking about the you that had that label slapped on its forehead as a small child. This you will always feel separation from God. I always feel as if there's a God outside of you, and this is why every religious system has been created out of this place of separation. We believe that we are this egoic self and so we create a religious system of God out here. Jesus came with the message that the kingdom of God does not come with observation. He said, don't look over here, don't look over there. When people say the kingdom of God is going to come, people right now, especially with COVID-19 happening or the end times are coming, maybe you're one of them, I have great news for you great news for you. The kingdom is not coming, but it is within you. You are a divine manifestation. You are God wrapped in impermanent form. You are more than your body, more than your mind, more than what you've done yesterday, more than what you could possibly even do. You are so much more. You are divine and are a manifestation of that divine in bodily form. You are the Word made flesh. Lagos, which just means divine manifestation or animation. You're one with God. As He is, so are you. 
Jesus' prayer was very simple. He says, God in me, and I in God, and you in me, and I in you. He says, if you abide in me, and I in you, you can. It's just this whole principle of abiding, of staying, remaining in the sense of uh, the divine awareness. And I'm not talking about your body and mind being aware of God. I'm talking about the awareness, pure awareness, and that awareness knowing the body and mind instead of and knowing all things instead of you, the self, knowing God, believing in God. You've never been a sinner. Even if you are watching this right now and you have raped or murdered or hurt others you have never been a sinner you are not identified by your past you are so much more than what you've done you are a beautiful divine being and at some point maybe that had been forgotten and maybe out of frustration and in an attempt to find pleasure or to gratify some sort of personal self-interest, you did things that might have hurt others or affected others. And lots of people would point fingers and call you a sinner. I'm telling you that is not who you are, nor is it ever been who you are. And there's grace here in this moment for you to transcend that personal self, the believed self, this ego, this thing that you believed you are, and step into or sink into an awareness, a divine awareness, a pure awareness, where sin is no longer an understandable word. I could not even tell you the last time I thought of sin or what I should or should not do. I don't make decisions any longer. It seems that my life is an effortless flow. It's not one of decision making. It's not one of hard work. It, there's an effortless flow of existence for this body and mind. And it's coming just out of a place of awareness. And this exists for you too. This is what you truly are. We are one. I see you. I see you. We are one. You might see too, but that's only a play. That's only there so that I can stare into the face of myself. So that I can stare into the face of God. You are not a sinner. And you never have been. I hope this helps. Please do me a favor. Reach out. Drop some, com drop some comments or questions in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer those in future videos. I love you. Look forward to chatting with you soon. Remember, the more you awake, the more you play. Thanks for watching, guys. Go ahead and do me a favor. Subscribe to our video, like and comment whatever questions you have so that I can respond to those questions in future videos. Hope you guys have an absolutely beautiful day. Remember, you are loved and valued.